So you know who the ancient of days is? That's the Most High God. Right. You know why he's called the ancient of days? He's saying, I existed before day one. That's right. I am the beginning. And he's the same one saying, don't worship no other God but me. Sis, I'm not calling you a prostitute, but I said there's prostitution in Houston. Sis, you can go to Fish and and you see prostitution there. I'm not talking about just here. I'm talking about in our communities, our sisters are selling themselves. Okay, yes, sir. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, you right. Thank you, sis. That's all I'm trying to state. I feel y'all in Fish and You know what I'm saying? But let me ask you this, sis. Did you see what that older brother did when he walked by? Is that Was that respectful to the word of God? Thank you, sis. And look, if you thought I was referring to you, my apologies, I was not talking to you. So y'all be on visit Sis, we teach everywhere. We teach everywhere the Bible. Right. You know what I'm saying? We got brothers right now in Ecuador. We got brothers in London. You know why? Because our people are scattered. But watch this, sis. I'm going to ask you a question, and you give me your assessment. I'm going to fall back. I'm going to ask you this. Read. For thou, O unholy people, unto the Lord thy God. So the Bible says that our people that are on this side were holy. Now I want you to ask you a question. Look around you. Are we acting holy? Sis, come on, sis. Just keep it a hundred, sis. That's the problem. Listen, when you love your neighbors, you love thyself. Sis, let me ask you something. Hold on, hold on. You got children? So if your child's doing something wrong, are you going to turn the other way or are you going to address it? Huh? So why you can't address it with our people right here? You, sis, these young men are like your sons. So why we can't address with facts? Go ahead. First of all, I don't judge my children with nobody. So watch this. Okay. So we're not supposed to judge? Oh, oh let me finish. Give me that Come on, sis. Now, wait a minute. Sis, because you know what the problem is? How you know I'm not doing that, though? Doing what? What you just said, why I don't what? Doing what? Then I'm not helping somebody else. So let me ask you. Based on, I can ask you again. Based on what you see around you, are our people acting holy? Yeah, are we acting holy? Sis, I'm asking you a question. Judging. Just a yes or no question. Scripture said that your yay be yay, your nay be nay. You know why you can't say that? Because you probably not, you're not doing what the scriptures say. The Bible says the spiritual can judge all things. Read it. Watch, watch. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 15. Watch. But he that is spiritual judges all things. You see that? When we keep in the commandments, we can judge matters. You know why? I'm going to tell you why. I can tell brothers, stop stealing because I'm not stealing. Hold on. Let me, let me explain something. Go ahead. I got two, um, I got two baby that don't preach. So you, you, can't you got two who? I got two of them. Two what? My youngest, my oldest son, there's a, a preacher been preaching 13 years old. So what's your nationality? My, what's my nationality? According to the Bible. I'm all difficult. You know what that is? Yo, 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 whoever that pastor is, he ain't a man of God. I'll tell you straight, he ain't a man of God. Because he was a man of God, his ass would be out here teaching. He would be out here to teach the word of God. Sister, I can't understand what you're saying, sis. Come a little closer, I can't understand you. Come on, sis. Come closer, I can't hear you. But y'all want somebody to listen to y'all. Why y'all don't bring no water or somebody and try to get it? I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna give. I am giving you the water. Give me Matthew 4 and 4. I'm gonna show you what the water is. You want the water? We're gonna give you the water. I'm gonna give you what the water is. That's what it is, right? 4 and 4? Let. Yeah, yeah. This is what you need. Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, Look, it is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. So God's saying, guess what? Not only bread and water you need, what else? But by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. This is the water you need. The Bible is the word. The Bible is the water we need, sis. What do you mean have water bottles out here? How can I give y'all even water if yet I don't want to listen to the word of God? You got to at least listen to the word of God. You say your son is a pastor, but sis, did he teach you that you're not supposed to be wearing pants? The Bible says women are supposed to be wearing pants. That's the sin according to the Bible. But that's the problem. A lot of us don't want to speak on what needs to be spoken about. Give me back in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Go back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let me get that. Read. 
Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 for thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God you see that sister right there with the blue that's the that's modest apparel sis you got on the blue dress that's the way you're supposed to be dressed as a woman of God teach the sister with the red hat that she needs to be dressed the same if that's your friend because at the end of the day, the scriptures say what? A faithful friend is the medicine of life. So if your friend says you need to be telling her, she needs to come off those pants. Because holiness should be shown by your outer appearance as well. Keep reading. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. You see that? That's what they're not teaching in the churches. God chose us to be special unto him. And we are special unto the Lord. We're supposed to be separate from everybody else. And you know what the problem is? We hate one another. We love the other nations more than, more than each other. Perfect example, we support this supermarket right here. Owned by heathens. And what do they sell? Cigarettes, condoms, blunt wraps. They don't give a damn about us. The Lord said we are special unto him. And to be special is supposed to be seen. Not by word, but by action. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You see that? But our people don't want to believe that. The Bible said the Lord made us to be above everybody else. Above all people. Are we moving like that? Are we conducting ourselves to be above everyone else? Sis, let me ask you a question, sis. What's your nationality according to the Bible? First of all, let me ask you this. Do you believe in God? So let me ask you something. Come here, sir. Let me ask you something. Sis, don't let nobody get you away from the word of God. Sis, you say you believe in God? I got a question for you. You believe in the Lord? Because a lot of our people are going to say that. Our people are going to say they believe in God. Hey, brother, you believe in the Lord? Let me ask you something. How do you believe? So rock 32. Yeah, how do you? Man, listen, listen, hold on. You just told me you believe, right? I asked you, right? My question to you is, according to the Bible, how do we show that we believe? Because you know what? I could tell my wife, look, baby, I love you. You believe me, and I'm sleeping with other women. Does that mean I love her? No. So my question for you, brother, is how, do we, how, how are we supposed to believe? Let me ask you this. You about to go in there and buy? What you about to buy in the store? Gas? That's it? You don't smoke cigarettes? Are you coming back out here? We're going to talk, brother. Read that. Sirach 32, verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord, take heed to the commandment. You see that? A lot of us say we believe in God. But God says in order to believe, you got to be obedient to him. How can I say to my little kids that I love them and I'm not showing it? I can't just tell my kids I love them and I don't show it. The Lord said, if you love me and you believe me, you must take heed to the commandment. And our sisters and our brothers don't know the commandments. That's the problem. Give me that in 1 Samuel. Matter of fact, no, no, no. Give me Isaiah 29. Isaiah 29, 13. Because a lot of our people say that. A lot of us say we love the Lord. A lot of us say we believe in God. But you know what? The way we was taught to love and believe in God was the white man. I'm going to show you who taught us to believe. Give me this right here. Yeah, give me that sign right here. You see this sign right here? You see this sign right here? This is the sign right here that taught us how to love and believe God. You know why? Because we can say we believe God and we're still selling drugs. We say we love God and guess what we're doing? Having boyfriends and girlfriends. That's not how you love God. That's not how you show God you love him. You have to take heed to the commandments. Read that. Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as his people draw near me with their mouth. You see that? God says all people love to say, I love God. I believe in God. I follow God. Brother, let me ask you something. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Yes, sir. According to scripture. There you go. That's what we're here for. Yo, give him a fly. Give him a fly. We're going to say that in a Let me ask you this. When you fill out an application, what do you put down in the application? Okay. Black African American, but let me ask you something, bro. Can you go in your phone right now, hit up Google, check the map, and look for a country that's called black? Okay. How about African American? Because you're talking about two different continents. Africa, but where in Africa? There's over 60 countries there. You see what I mean? 
So, bro, that's what we're here for, bro. You, you, bro, I'm African American. That's not in the Bible. The Bible talks about the Israelites, the twelve tribes of Israel, and they went into slavery because they disobeyed God. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Let me ask you something. What's your last name? Gonzalez. So Gonzalez, you know where that last name come from? Los Conquistadores, right? You speak Spanish, right? So that came from the, co the conquistadors. That's not your last name. For example, Jackson, Johnson, Torres, Flores, right? Rodriguez, those last names did not come from our people. It came from the white man because when the white man came to the land, he gave us our last names. That's why you watch sports. When you watch football, what do they got in the back of their jersey? That's the white man's last name. And you know what they got? A slave number on it and guess who owns them the owner and who's the owner the white man the white man that's why he's called the slave owner the only difference is they make you run around with the ball they pay you a little bit but at the end of the day they own you that's what we're trying to teach brother because you know what african-american does not have power israelite has a power in it you know what israelite mean prince of the power and that's who you are that's your bloodline. You need to check that fly out, bro, because how old are you? You've been alive for 25 years. Is that right? Do you deserve... Let me ask you something, bro. Everybody's here on earth for a purpose. You cannot live every day doing the same thing, not knowing what your purpose is. You got to know your purpose. And you know what? How can you read a book when you can't match your nationality to it? Because you know why? We've been lied to. Right, right. Let me ask you, what's your religion? Okay. So watch this. Look at this. So what did what denomination? What denomination? Baptist, Mormon, Adventist, Jehovah, and Pentecostal? Pentecostal, watch this. Give me Exodus 23. Watch this. Watch this, brother. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Now, when you see Pentecostal, is that God? So watch this. Watch what the Lord says. Read that. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shalt, not, thou shalt have no other gods before me. You know why God said we're not supposed to have other gods before him? Because when you follow a religion that's not mentioned in the Bible, that's following another God, right. ignorantly. So when you call yourself Pentecostal, you're saying, that's my God. But guess what? The Bible don't talk about that God. Right. That's why he says, have no other gods before me. Right. These right here, as you can see, are false gods. You know one thing they have in common? They're all Caucasian, and they don't look like you, they don't look like your fathers, so why are you following somebody that don't resemble you? Right. Get out. But watch this. Let's see who let's see who you resemble. Give me that in Daniel. Let's see who you remember. The God of the Bible says, don't worship no other gods but me. But guess what? Let's know, we need to know how he looks. Bring it out. So we can tell which God to follow and which God not to follow. Read. We're gonna show you something, brother. What's your name, bro? Travis. Travis? Watch this. Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit. So Daniel said the Ancient of Days was sitting down. In order for someone to sit down, they have to have a body. So you know who the Ancient, so you know who the ancient of Days is? That's the Most High God. You know why he's called the Ancient of Days? He said, I existed before day one. That's right. I am the beginning. And he's the same one saying, don't worship no other gods but me. But let's see how me looks. Whose garment was white as snow. The church teaches nobody know how God looked. But Daniel said he had on a white garment. Somebody's lying. 
How the hell you know you, you don't have a body, but you're sitting down? Read. And the hair of his head. So he's looking at his hair on his head. So guess what? God got hair. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. The Lord said, Daniel said in the spirit, that the most high God sitting in the heavens got woolly hair. If you look up the definition of woolly hair, it's hair belonging to Negroes. Black people have woolly hair. Watch, read. The hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as burning fire. Okay, go to Daniel 10. So, the Bible's telling you that the Most High God sitting in the heavens, bro, the one who created everything, had woolly hair. Do any of these men, let me see that, any of these men right here look like a black man? Huh? Give me Exodus 20 and 3 again. Watch with the Lord, that's why, bro, we gotta pay attention. That's why we gotta be mindful. Oh, that's why the scriptures say what? Prove all things. Every, yo, these pastors that talk, you gotta prove with scripture what you're saying. Because our people are ignorant following false gods. When you practice Christmas, that's a false god. Right. New Year's, false god. Right. Fourth of July, false god. Right. Birthdays is a false god. Right. That's called idolatry. Why are we celebrating birthdays? We don't even age like everybody else. We'll be 60 years old, look like we're 30. Why do we have birthdays? The Lord made us to be everlasting forever, immortal. So there's no reason to name number days. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Watch. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. You see that right here? Look. It says, Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. You know what that goes into? The Lord said, you with, with, listen, with a false God comes what? A false start. A false understanding of scripture. That's why you said you never seen God. But the Bible's telling you, you look like God. That's why you gotta check that fly out, bro. Cause you know what? Bro, our school's right up the street. We got a lot of brothers waking up. What country is your, fa your, your father from? Huh? From the islands. Where are the islands? Dominica. Dominican Republic? No. Nah. Dominica. We got a school over there too. We got brothers teaching over there. Because you know why? The scripture said we were scattered all throughout the four corners. You're going to find black people in Germany. Right. People in Russia. You're going to find black people in Australia. Right. You're going to find black people in, uh, in Canada. But why are we all scattered, speaking different languages, speaking different nationalities? You know why? Because we were destroyed for a lack of knowledge.